but not this format. This is the format of, of where you find champions of ball, and uh, we know what Gary Anderson can do. John Park, Rod Sudy, you come as you team. Thanks, Dave. The Winter Garden is still the buzz, still rocking. After Jeffrey Desvan produced yet another upset in this magical match play of 2018. And Joe Cullen upset the odds again. He did in the last round against Daryl Gurney. Can he do it? Against the red hot favourite for the title, Gary Anderson, to set up a semi with the young Dutchman. Who'd have thought it? Difficult to know what to believe anymore, John. The darting universe seems to have been spun round 180 degrees. Well, you can believe in something next, that the best darts will win the match. And there's been a lot of best darts throwing. Including three right there from Gary. require 81. Double 12, Game 11 dart leg. leg. Let's Gary get it started. Now, we were sitting down waiting during the other match, in fact, Rod, and I asked you, do you think Gary, seeing the level of play 59. in that match, do you think he comes out firing? I think Devin. maybe he woke him up. Devin Peterson enjoying proceedings. Good friend of Joe Cullen. One. Indeed. Best of buddies. Lovely to see Devon here. 93. Well, Joe Cullen had not won a match on the Winter Garden stage when he arrived here. 60. Last weekend, played three, lost three to Van Barneveld, Wright and Justin Pipe. One win has brought two. Will two wins 18. bring three? The way Anderson played last night against Van Barneveld. One run out, Fozzi! The night before, it all seems to have merged into one. Yeah, it was a couple of nights ago. Yes, now. it was so magical, it's still fresh in the memory, but yeah. he was 5 1 down, wasn't he? And he just absolutely went through all the gears into turbo mode. He had wormhole scoring, he went through time. 39. <laughs> One run out, 34. Gary requires 62. Tops then. 22. Joey requires so 52. Joe Cullen to hold on. Two 16s. Game Joe really has 19. been excellent in the poise department. He just gets up and does the business. As he does to open this leg against throw. Gary will be fed a lot of fuel, I think, Rod, of, you know, darts in your face, and I'm going to force the issue. And Gary, as we know, he will force it back. I mentioned Anderson's brilliant burst against Van Barneveld. Averaged 109 in the final nine legs. But Cullen, in running from 3-3 to 11-3 against Gurney, was averaging 110 One over those eight legs. Gary, you require 170. Let's hope they both play like that tonight. One so to take the lead for the underdog from Yorkshire, and he's nailed it. Well, John, he was hit with an 11 data opening salvo from the Flying Scotsman. That has not put a dent in Joe Cullen's armour. Well, you can't let an 11 or 12 dart leg wow, impress you as an opponent. You have to, of course, expect your opponent to do that sort of thing and respond in kind. What a night we've had at the Winter Gardens. What a darty party this is. Party. One run and 36. Go on, Gary, come on. The little twizzle make no difference. Yeah, 
I uh, didn't get quite get a clean transfer to the throwing hand, but it didn't matter. He's on. We've waited since 2014 for a nine dart leg. Gary Anderson wants double 19. To end the night, the magical nine dart leg from the flying Scotsman. Absolute brilliance for Spotty Even Joe Cullen has the breakout and smile. What an absolute stunner of a leg. A nine darter to make a 2 2 and to break back. And we might have said in other matches, he'll need a nine darter to break Joe the way he's throwing, but he did it. Joins the roll of honor twice by Phil Taylor by Raymond Van Barneveld, by John Part, by Michael Van Gerwen and by Wesley Newton and now by Gary Anderson on the Winter Garden stage on the 26th of July 2018 97 Is it too early to hope for another one, Rod? <laughs> well, it's not impossible, John, is it? <laughs> not the way both players are playing. But it's still possible to go for another 1-4-1 one, one, one out here. Yes, a double 12. In consecutive legs. That's insane. It's absolutely preposterous. All Joe Cullen can do is laugh. Gary Anderson is laughing all the way to the bank. He's in front 3 2 after a nine dart leg, back to back, one ball, one out. Go and have a lie down in a dart room. We'll be back in three minutes. The fifth leg, another one four one, a mirror image finish. And in five legs there were played in six minutes and 28 seconds. Anderson won three of them, John. Well, yeah, and he saved us the trouble of a replay on the finish. We still have to catch our breath a little bit. And, uh, 23. Maybe, maybe he lost focus a bit as we revisited that nine darter. 97. Gary Anderson's third televised nine dart leg. His first was at the UK in 2012 against Davy Dodds, and then the big one at the World Championship in 2016 in the semi final against Yellow Class. And then tonight. 2018 at the Winter Gardens in Blackpool against Joe Cullen in the World Match Play quarter final. Anyway, there's a darts match on, John, and he's still going to win another 13 One. legs, which, I mean, you've had a nine dart leg on this stage. That was towards the back end of a game, but was it difficult to get your mind back on the job? One, no, no I actually, it was entirely different. I was down 7 1 and actually that made it 7 2, and it was, I was able to kind of make it close in the end. So. It spurred me on more than anything. Require 83. But uh, yeah, it was so much to left to play in this match. It's almost something that both players just have to forget Fair about even. and continue to play as well as they did prior to it. It's just the same as a bad leg, like a 24 dart leg. To just forget about 32. it, you have to. You have to get on and, and proceed with new matters. Game show on the sixth leg. And that is exactly Gary what Joe Cullen is doing Gary because despite the heroics play. by Gary Anderson, the match is all square at three each. 58. Now, what if a nine dart leg was like an instant win? Some sessions would end very early, John. That's what would happen. Golden and darts. Yes, you can go and explain that to the crowd. And they're captivated 30, now, they want more, they're not satiated by what they've witnessed. Is this another max? It is from Joe Cullen. No need to go this way, but he will. And he's going to have a pop for double 16. Well, I, ran up oh, 16. I don't know how he missed that after hitting everything else. We'll come back for double eight, though. 
Find our leg. Another one for one, and almost the quintessential champagne shot from Gary Anderson. Can he mop up here with something more modest? No. No, and suddenly a chance to break. Will he go another one there or 15 ball? Well, that's double 10. Game shot in the seventh bag. Jack Allen. Yeah, perfect execution there. I really love the. I'm partial to going that way myself, and that combination from the 45 to the double 10. It's seamless, it seems, when executed like that. Wow. This is brilliant from Joe Collin, isn't it? Up there on the wrong end of the nine dart leg and the 141, and he just chuckled his way off stage, thinking, well, what can you do? What can you do? He's gone on a nine dart leg and a 141, and I'll have a glass of water and come back on, and he's really rocking the joint here, the rock star. I truly do believe it. You have to expect the worst from your opponent, or the best, if you, if you will. And don't let it surprise you. Just try, 95. come back, and win your legs. You're going to win in special fashion because you know you have that in your inside yourself. And I think we saw a perfect example of that mentality in Jeffrey Deswan in our first match tonight. To be 5-5 after 10 legs of play the way Chizzy was playing was just an incredible feat. Colin officially ranked world number 18. He'll be in the top 16 at the end of this tournament. How far he goes will determine how far up the rankings he goes. And he's on the way up. And he's 4-3 up. 99. One round out, 39. Joe, you require 108. He'll need a treble 19 just below. Got away from him. So Anderson, can he take out a 90? See how he likes to do it. Gary required 90. Double 20, I think. Yes. Two at double 15. For Anderson, Anderson to break play. back straight away. Touche, four each. First. Game on. Yeah, he touched the 90, indeed. He touched himself with the one for ones. 96. Thirty-six. Ninety-six. Tweeted wow. earlier, Joe Cullen, that he'd been for a three mile stroll along the seafront this morning. He must have felt he was given the runaround by Gary Anderson early on, ball. but bracing stroll has cleared the cobwebs. Likes the sea air by the look of it. 42. gets the first dart right the other two are attracted as if by magnetism to the red bit that is fourth maximum of the match and 14th of the tournament just for a 14 darter tops 25 well, this would be a great steal of a leg if you could get this oh and he's such a good combination player double 16 one round 36. Gary required 20. Game shot on the ninth bag. Gary Anderson. It was a chance for Joe Cullen. Couldn't quite finish the combination off. Now trails again. 5 One 4. Round Never more than a solitary leg between the two combatants. Brilliant match. 16. This match looking to be 5-5 after 10 legs, as was our first quarter-final. 57. With the caliber that each of them have had here. You know, it could be the same kind of a situation where someone runs away to double up the leg 16-8. As was the case in our first 42. one. It's a long old format, right? 58.
92. Well, he's already taken out 170 once this week. Joe Collin. He and Peter Wright. Manage that feat. Only wanted to take the 57 off and go up and get two treble 20s. Really got 43. nothing right there. So you require 45. Two 16s. This time, Charlotte no bother Joe for Joe Collin. What a match this is. What a night of darts this is. We've seen Desvan beat Chisnell. We're now watching Colin and Anderson serve it up to each other on the big stage. Five apiece in this race to 16. It hasn't detracted one iota from the entertainment on show. The treats we've been served up by these ace aerosmiths. Gary the throat first, game on! Yeah, not just the entertainment, Rod, but the quality of that entertainment, the quality of play has not been diminished. One round of forty. One round of forty. We witnessed, yes, it's a magical thing. A nine dart leg. Haven't seen one at the Winter Garden since 2014 when Phil 95. Taylor hit one against Michael Smith. Someone more poetic than me put it. There was something in the air that night. The darts were right. Ferrando. 45,000 pounds. Plus what he's already guaranteed here for reaching the quarterfinals of the tournament. Uh, for, Gar for Gary Anderson. 17,000. 17,500 already in his back bin. Power to add. Uh, I think there's only one thing that'll really truly satisfy the man, and that's the 16. name on the Phil Taylor trophy. We'll get him a check for another 115,000 pounds. Be a good week's work for the Flying Scotsman. 57. Gary, you require 110. Lasering in on this 110. We'll need to find treble 18. Would have left the double there off. 86. Well, we've seen Cullen so you require fire 15. a missile just wide of double 16 for a 152. Not going to take out the 153. Gary, you require 24. Game shot here, Lemon Clans. Gary Anderson. Rides again. Leads again. Hooper. Make that the third time he's taken the lead by an odd leg. No, four. Forty. It has been nip and tuck, John, hasn't it? It has, but it's still it's so early still. Ninety-seven. Uh, you know, at five-five, it, it left them at the format for the second round, the match they just played, where it's the first to eleven. Wow, from man, there. Forty. Now that just tells you how far it is to go, really, when they commence this session. So much to play for yet. We saw the first match tonight was 5-5, and subsequently, Jeffrey Deswan won 11-3 to cumulatively win 16-8. Well, Deswan started the tournament as a 500-1 no-hoper. He's currently 11 to 2 to win the world match play, and Cullen started off at 125 to win. 29, Gary require 164 to win the event. Anderson cannot go out, so Cullen with a chance to level up again. 96, Joe, you require 109. Well, he's not going to go out. 93. So it seems Gary certain requires at one point to be a case of. Six versus half a dozen. Anderson can take a two-leg lead. 28. Joey requires 16. Some pressure on this. Double eight. Game shot. It's important to hold a throw. You can't the afford to be losing any concentration right there, and he didn't. Well, there's a case of six and half a dozen. Six and two threes, if you prefer. In any regard, they both need ten more legs to win. Eighty-one. In the 
semi-final. Anderson has never got beyond the semi-final of the World Match Play. A staggering stat for a man of his infinite ability. One. Well, ten or more, in fact. As they need to win by two still. Yes, John. 96. Got a bit of John Park pedantry there for you. Well, it's just that first match sort of looked like it was going to be close all the way, and here we have one that wow. seems similar, but uh, it might not be as close a contest in the end. We'll have to wait wow. and see. Well, no, we, we mentioned that both players produced staggering spurts of scoring and form in their previous matches. 41. when. Colin ran those eight legs against Daryl Gurney and Anderson went Garrity against Raymond van Barneveld. Garrity Anderson. No. So Colin now with a chance to go in front himself by the odd leg. Joe, you require 50. Double 16. Well, that's almost too close. It was. It was a distraction. Gary, you require 100. It was bent over and in, and maybe needed to take more time with that. But I guess he figures he's coming back, and he is. 89. So he requires 16. Here he goes. And to underline the nature of this seaside seesaw struggle. Cullen leads for the third time in the match. Anderson has led by a leg four times. Cullen has been a solitary leg in front Round three times. 40. Gary goes and Gary wow. flows. Magical sight when Anderson is in full cry. Yeah, he's been a little off, but he's coming. You know, as soon as he's behind, he sort of just flicks his switch. It's incredible. Well, the U's and R started. 25. We have seen two in a match in the Premier League final when Phil Taylor did so against 57. James Wade and threatened a third on that incredible evening. In the World Championship also against Wade. Michael Van Gerwen threatened two in consecutive legs. Missing the double on the second occasion. One round of and that might well have been the golden leg, John, in time to go home, wouldn't it? But yeah. It's pretty hard uh, to Gary think that you can play 56. against someone at that level. Top centre, level up again. Double ten. 36. So you require 104. Over the years, this double ten has been a bet noir for Gary Anderson, Anderson on occasion, but not there, and he Gary levels up again. Gary to throw first. Came on. Seventh time, the match has been levelled up, and Anderson now has the darts. There have been six breaks of throw, split evenly. Fulton. Yeah, you could really have an upset situation with that instant win idea. The guy could be 12 nil down and still win 129 yes, I've over the years been accused of many idiosyncratic and daft ideas John but I think you might have trumped all of mine with that idea 137 <laughs> and loving it and we're loving this because this is a real 57. real battle and kudos to Joe Collin It's not just been about Gary Anderson and his nine dart leg. Ninety. Well, they went for the ball there, so if he had a 25, he could still leave a finish with two treble 20s. And he couldn't get the treble 20s, even though he got a 50. One right on 36. Gary Anderson to 75. attempt to regain Gary the lead. The 14 data, 15 data. 38. Mm. Joey require one. Just a few signs of frustration for the Flying Scotsman. 
Oh my, now, double 18. Wow, and he has had a couple of those, I was going to say half chance, John, they're not really a half chance, are they? About an eighth of a chance, those long range finishes, but he's only missed them narrowly twice. And he's been punished this time as Anderson holds on and goes into the break with the flimsiest of advantages. This is a great game. It's been played on one of the greatest stages. I hope you'll come back and enjoy the rest of it with us. Anderson leads Cullen 8 7. Well, he needs another eight, Anderson. At least another eight, job. Well, yes, and you know, there's no guarantees it's not in a losing effort. Joe Cullen has looked pretty good. Leg, Joe, to throw they first. both looked excellent. We've had four dart players turn up to entertain this amazing audience at the Winter Gardens, and just everything is coming around the way we want it to. We dream of these days, and we always talk about, oh, will they get a nine darter tonight? Well, they did tonight, and it's just stunning. It's the best way to put it. And in he goes again with a max. One hundred. One hundred. Mentioned before the match, the head-to-head four-four between these players, but Colin with the last couple. One hundred. Both on eighty-one after nine. In the sixteenth, sixteen leaves ball. Bullseye for Cullen. Dozen data was on the card. Same on offer for Anderson. Possible in 11. Yes, double 12. Misses it this time. Double six. Misses that as well. This is really getting very, very tasty. Game shot in and amongst the perfection of the nine dart leg and the nine matchments we've seen. Nothing puts a darts match on edge more than a few missed doubles. Well, yeah, and Gary's had more than a few. Only at 36%. He's missed 14 darts at double. Doesn't feel right picking on a guy who hit a nine darter, but that's the case. He's maybe made it harder for himself. Maybe should be ahead a little further. Well, at all. It's 8-8. Eight, eight. One hundred. Only two men have won all three legs of the Triple Crown, and by that we mean the World Championship, Eight the Premier Eight. League of Darts, and the World Match Play Darts Championship, and those two men are the greatest two players ever to pick up a dart, Phil Taylor and Michael Van Gerwen, and that is the exclusive club that Gary Anderson is attempting to join on Sunday night. If he's still wow, here on Sunday night because he's in a real scrap to get through to the semis, never mind the final. 95. Gary require focus. Well, this should be comfortable enough. 15 for double 16. Double eight. He might be blocked a bit. Yeah, the sight line I think was affected there. First start at the double 16 popped right up. Oh. Double 16 for Joe. 74. Gary requires 16. Double four. Yes. And Anderson 17, back in front. Man. And for the third time, he survives a dart at double from Joe Cullen off the back of a three dart combination. We've seen darts at double missed by the Rockstar for a 150, 35. a 152, and an attempt we just saw there. Yeah, and. In my opinion, he's a strong player with those kind of finishes too, where he doesn't normally, once he gets the dart at double, miss that. Normally that's the easy part of the combination for him. They are the kind of things that will make a difference in a match of this magnitude and this closeness. 17 legs played, never more than a leg in it. Anderson now leading for the sixth time by an odd leg, as you see. The match statistics with Anderson getting six maximums. And the 141, of which he's had two 141 out shots in consecutive legs. The first of those for a nine data. That came in the fourth leg of the match. 93.
number three down finish on the menu to Joe Collins. Well, he's got the first two courses, but again, the sweet eludes him. It's all right having the start on the main course, John. You've got to finish it off. Well, he can't believe it either. But Anderson won't believe this if he misses. 11 score. Well, this time, Colin gets another chance to chuck into something tasty. Double 16. That couldn't be close without going in. Oh, he has managed to squeeze it in and level up again. Well, that's three legs consecutively where the man with the throw survived breaking darts from his opponent. And it could be crucial match turners, but they just haven't been. They haven't been. We're in a real tight match. Extraordinary match where at the end of it, the loser will point to umpteen 57. opportunities that they could oh, and maybe yeah. should have taken, John. Either of them will be able to say that, won't they? Yeah, it'll, it'll be like two fishermen talking about it. 30. 97. And speaking of fish and maybe big fish, that wouldn't surprise me if we get one of those in this match. 58. Both like him. Number of the match play, Anderson in the Premier League this year as well, 170 out. 93. 93. Throw under threat. One right that eases 34. that threat, but it doesn't eliminate it completely. 84. So, a purely a setup visit. What a great job. 174 to leave double four. And look at that. The big fish, 170 for Cullen. He's got the first, the second, and now the bullseye. And he's got that too. It's unbelievable stuff tonight. And he carries his turn to smile and laugh in appreciation of the skill of his opponent. Oh, what a joy to behold. Oh, Joe Cullen has reeled in a whopper for the second time this week in the match play. And this time at a crucial moment in the quarterfinal. Well, you named it, John, didn't you? Not I know long I'm ago. psychotic now. You named it. 60. You knew that the lakes were well stocked with big fish tonight. <laughs> well, you didn't uh, catch me out of my psychotic bag either. Huh? I don't know, that's scary though, to, to say something like that, and then it happens. Well, a nine dart leg from Anderson. Four. A 170 maximum finish from Joe Cullen. Magical, magical, magical wow. match play entertainment again. Okay, so what else should I talk about now? What do we want to see next, Rod? <laughs> One well, I mean, we could see the game go to 15 all and beyond, couldn't we? Yeah, extra time. Well, is this the chance for Cullen to, for the first time, put clear water between him and his opponent? Well, maybe not. Anderson hits a seven maximum. Oh, brilliant timing of the 180 to give himself a chance now. It's a chance now to break straight back. Carry requires 77. To level up again, Anderson wants double ten. Oh, wrong bed. Wrong bed. And now, the underdog can go too clear. And he has done. Joe Cullen, last start in half. Breaks throw. Well, holds through. It just seems like a break, but he's two legs clear of Gary Anderson in an astonishing quarter-final here at the Winter Gardens. Anderson's nine-dart leg does not count for very much at the moment. Joe Cullen's 170 does, mind you, and that's part of his lead of 11 legs to nine. He leads five more legs to reach the match play semi-finals. We'll find out right now. 
39. Yeah, he had that amazing rally at the back end of the uh, game against Raymond van Barneveld that you were just alluding to there, John. 94. Winning the last three legs himself to come from 8-9 behind to win. 11-9. And in the back end there, his scoring visits were 140, 140, 180, 140, 140, 139. Yeah, and it was fantastic, but even he had two comebacks in that match because he was 5-1 down. He was. And he pretty much leveled it. 100. Really important leg for Gary Anderson. Does not want to go two breaks 39. down and Gary three Anderson legs down to a chipper Cullen. Treble to leave tops. 41. Oh, he knows that that has left things awkward because if Cullen, well, even a 140 here, but the maximum really puts pressure on this 99, which has never been the easiest of finishes. He's only going to get one dart and a double. Whatever happens, two tops. Well, that wasn't the poor visit, it was the one before. Well, it hasn't proven fatal yet. One dart for double at double 16 to break. 36. Gary required 40. So Gary needs to make sure of this, Gary and he does. He's not too happy with his doubling, though, is he? That took him three darts at double to get a double. He's 10 of 33, so he's about that pace the whole match. One out of three going in, and that might not be good enough if you're trying to get back in and win a quarterfinal. 59. One run up, 40. One run. Joe Collin is entering one of the most important phases of a darts match that he's ever experienced. Deep, one deep into a major, 34. close to the finishing line against one of the biggest stars in the darting galaxy. One yeah, and who is equally hungry to get this title because he hasn't had it before, so it's all the more dangerous. Double 18 for 12 10. 58. Gary require 107. Joe Collin with a massive feeling of relief. Double four, ten for double four, split the double. Game shot on the 22nd leg. Joe and Collin, 23rd The end Gary justifies the means as Collin leads by two again. One run out, 31. Is this one of the big breakthrough wins for Joe Collin? Four. 93. Is Gary Anderson going to rally here? Yeah. Um, it's still four one legs away from a win, Collin. Anderson's only two legs back. Still really anybody's match. One run on Fosey. In Joe Collin's locker is the fact that he's beaten Anderson the last couple of times they've played. Let's Gary get it right, they weren't on the Winter Garden 37. stage, one was in the World Series of Darts, and one was in the German Masters on the European 97. Tour, but nevertheless he won those two games. And that can only be a, of an assistance in the back of his mind. 40. Gary require Anderson 40. would love to hit this first dart. Game That's what he's aiming for, leg. that's what he wants. That'll make him feel a little better. Leg, Not just winning the leg, John, it's winning yeah. with authority, isn't it? Well, it's that reinforces the thought for him. If he does need a big finish, then he will be able to execute that one dart at double. 
That's what he's helped reinforce there by getting it first dark. As there's certainly been many an occasion in this match where he's failed to do so. 86. And Joe. Joe's missed a lot of third darts and combination out shots. Not on the 170, fortunately. That 96. was entertaining. with a mere 42 but he's managed to rectify that to some degree but he's still vulnerable if Anderson puts in a biggie like his eighth maximum yeah and he's left one of those sorts of finishes we like to use the bull at carry require 135 checking the situation for Cullen so up to 60 treble 20 now He's fairly confident he'll be back, but you never know. A 170 is already gone for Cullen. He's got the first, the second, and a bull. One run of 39. He almost Gary hit the inverse big 36. fish rod. <laughs> Very good job. how close that was to catastrophe that's a big moment that in every possible sense last start in hand an awkward double double nine to level the match at 12 apiece Game on. Dare I say, Joe might need a nine darter to break. Well, unfortunately for Joe, I think what I just said is true. Gary at 227 after six. And still finding trebles. Down to 90 after nine. Looking good to hold his throw. He's had a 90 finish as well already. Gary, you require 90. Double 15, and he's back in front of the flying Scotsman. Not so long ago, he was 12-10 down. He's run three legs straight off the bat to go in front again at 13-12 when it really starts to matter most. Whether we're going to have Anderson play out or whether we're going to go the distance. This leg is pivotal. Oh, and Anderson on the attack. One well, amazing to think we've played, we've seen 25 legs of darts played, and never has there been more than two legs between these tungsten gladiators on the big stage. That's how close it's been. Well, he was attempting to leave 170 again. Neither will have a finish. So Cullen will have six darts from 206, which he'll be happy about. Probably isn't happy he hasn't scored more in the leg. But that one big treble a turn 96. has put him in with a good chance of holding. Joey so require 110. Treble 18 for double. 74. He's hit Gary the double with that dart. Which was smart because it leaves double 18 when he comes back. 100. Joey so require 36. Greens up. Hitting double 18 round. with the Joe last Gatlin's dart of his previous minute in the first of that one. Down. 13 each, and on they go. One round of 40. Uh, 
Gary's scoring rhythm, his tempo. Very good, but Joe matching. He just gets in these moods, Anderson, where he hits at least the two big scoring trebles in a visit. Every visit. He has to switch now because he failed to do that same thing again. And 1 2 9. May not need to go for it specifically. 59. Gary require 129. Two double 18s, right? Showman shot. I went 48 for 24. 89. Far more pragmatic. This is not the time for showboating. You might have a point there. <laughs> 90. It doesn't stop Gary some of these guys sometimes. 40. This is the time for knuckling down for hard darting graft. Important dart. And that double ten has caused him all manner of problems tonight. Here's another three-figure offering for Cullen. Yeah, and he has no alternative to the treble 20 for this dart. Must find a way around that awkward dart. He can't. 60. Gary, you required 10. Source of frustration for Cullen. Oh, now. Three for double one for Anderson. Game shot in the 27. Oh, well, that's bottle. Anderson, 28. That's bottle from the former world champ. He leads 14 13. 59. 98. So Joe not punished as heavily as he might have expected. Chance to. Get a 140 like that and pretty much take control of his leg again. Unless Gary comes back with that. <laughs> 37. It is first to 16, but remember if it goes 15 all, which is 132. Probable. Then player will need to win by two clear legs. And it goes to 18. All, the 37th leg will be the final leg. Ooh, Anderson missed this 1-3-2 earlier 32. on the double 16 after having hit two balls. And he too finds it difficult to replicate his form of earlier in the match. 77. Shall you require 110? Treble 18 for double 18. We've seen this before. 74. He'll be back for double 18 again. Gary or will he? 54. Or will he? Tops to put Anderson one away. 35. And he Joey would have had the throw. 36. But he will have the throw in the next leg. But it would have been for the match. Splitting again, Joe Cullen. Double four. Game shot on the 28th wow, leg. that's bold. Gary that's Gary bold. Gary Anderson smiles. Play, Gary. To split there with only two in hand, John. He did it earlier. But with two in hand, knowing that one is immediately burnt, and oh, to, to restrict yourself to one last dart in hand. Wow, that's bottle. Well, it speaks to his confidence on double four. Nine. And that, he's hit that double four a few times in the match. He believes in it. It's his rescue dart. Yes. Next to the double for which he has a particular penchant, the double 18. Next door neighbor. Was equally accommodating. 99. Well, in about 90 seconds, one of these players will one be one leg away from the world match play semi final. Which one? One round of 39. We can't afford to slip up here, Gary. 44. Doesn't leave a finish. That is as big a slip up as you could say. 96. Well, Joe Cullen has not taken full advantage, but he knows, barring accidents, he's going to get at least one dart at a double on his return. 28. Joe to go within one 71. of a huge upset. One dart 
the tops. Brilliant Here's finish, fantastic, fabulous 15 down break Jump from Joe Cullen. Cullen, and he's on the brink. He's on the brink of the biggest win of his darting life to get through to the semi-finals of the second biggest tournament in world darts. And he has the throw. Oh, talk about tension. Talk, you know, he knows it. Gary knows it. Gary's an expert at being under this sort of pressure. Absolutely. Well, a man who has won the world final against the great Phil Taylor. In the last set shootout. His credentials could not be faulted. One knows what it's like to be on the brink. Not able to make any mistakes. Oh, good couple of switch darts. Keep Anderson having to hit these. One on. Gary frustrated there. He wanted to leave one two one a lot Nine, lot easier two, than six. one six one Gary to try and save it. Can't go out. 99. That's all he could do. All he can do now is hope. Treble 20 for the ball. And he's just pushed that to the wrong side of the wire, but he may Gary get another chance. 62. To stay in it. 22. And is that Gary the dart that ends 87. the dreams of Gary Anderson? It's double 18. Double nine. 69. A fly went by. Gary, you require Can you believe it? We've had everything in this match for sure now. Just as he was going. Game shot in the 30th. 15 day. each. Gary Anderson. And has and some with a score infernal insect. All. Denied Joe Collins a spot in Should the World Match Play semi-final. The 37th leg will be sudden death. 31st leg, Gary the throat first, came on. Match referee Russ Bray making things quite clear from the stage. Sudden uh, death leg will be at 18 all. Prior to that, if a player goes two legs clear, they 48. will have won. Two match darts for Joe Cullen. In the 30th leg. Second of those, he appeared to be distracted by a flying insect. Sure, he'll explain more later. But that's what it looked like, John, wasn't it? Well, I saw it. I saw it. It was like a, a streak across the screen. He has 28. to just dig in like he did there. Keep playing darts. You can be unlucky for a number of reasons. 96. You can't worry about why you are. You just have to get past it. Switch to the 18s. Well, what a leg this is off the back of that disappointment from Cullen. 18. Tops for Anderson. Oh, you've got to hand it to this man. You've got to Gary hand it Anderson. to this man, Gary Anderson. He's had trouble on top, trouble on double ten. But no trouble on that double with Colin, remember, waiting on a double 86. himself. 57. Well, as a neutral, the fitting finale would be 18 all in a one way wow. shootout. But don't try to tell Gary Anderson that. He's not interested in that kind of nonsense. He wants this finished off double quick. 115. Joe determined to keep winning leg for leg, though. 78. Eighty-one. Oh. 
Every dart could be decisive. Any dart could be decisive now. 43. And we've reached the point in the match where even the unmissable becomes missable. No longer a surprise when they miss. Really, it's a surprise how they managed to hit at this point. Yeah, Joey Ricard, fair enough, Rod. 160. Absolutely. How anyone can cope with this sort of pressure is, is beyond belief until you're absolutely, you're there playing yourself. Somehow you do it. Great ton from Joe Cullen. What's Gary Anderson got in response? 60. Joe, you require 60. Do we go on? We Here go on. on the 32nd leg. 16 Shot each. The 33rd leg, Gary the Winter Gardens classic. Sit back and relax. The two players won't be doing that. But we can, we can enjoy it. Every twist and every turn. And suddenly an advantage swings the way of Cullen. And the luck as well. To wow. leave 164 after nine darts with his 10th maximum. Well, that's what I, exactly what I said. You can't afford to cry about bad luck. You just have to get on with it. Anderson exemplified that. Decimus Maximus and the Gladiators fight on. There's no interest wow. in a showboat finish. He's wanting to win a match to get to a semi. Colin can't finish. Well, he couldn't finish with the 166, the bogey number. So Anderson 93. with... Just that added a little bit of security. But the trouble started again. Game shot in the third. Well, he manages to bail himself out on double five, and Anderson leads again. 17 16. One and right. Decent beginning for Cullen. Anderson, you know, he's thinking, okay, a 12 dart or better, but 81, going to make that job pretty hard. Cullen in good One control round, of this leg, he started. One hundred. Absolutely, five-star performance from Joe Cullen for all manner of reasons. He stood up to Anderson, the early nine darter. Battled back when he's behind, took out a 170. Shrugged off the two missed match darts. Can he shrug this off? Because that 11th maximum puts Anderson within finishing range, within match winning range. One runner, 37. Gary require 140. A ton is what he wants now, and another bounce out for Gary Anderson. Oh my! Saves that World Championship final against Phil Taylor when all three fell out of the treble 20. Joey require 40. Game shot in the third. Those don't matter game. anymore. 17 Joe each Cullen. as Colin levels again. Chapeau, Joe. 35th leg, Gary to throw first. So essentially a best of three legs for it all. One round of 39. Sadly, no draws. One on the match play, this is not 34. the Premier League. It's Anderson 35. with the advantage. And crucially, John, he will have that advantage of throw if it does go 18 all. Yes, and Colin can't afford to think about that sort of thing. He just has to play every leg here out. Like, there's no advantages anywhere. 57. Yes, play what's in front of you, not what might be in front of you. Good grief. Way to go, Joe. Oh, no, he couldn't, could he? The bullseye for the second big fish of the match. Run up, 45. It would have put him in front, 18-17, and now Cullen has a chance to take the lead. He's 82, so treble 14 needed. Anderson will get a chance for the 25. Gary required 25. Nine and double 80 chooses. 
Game no problem. The 30, fifth leg. Now he the truly is, is one leg away. Leg, no matter how you football. look at it. Gary Anderson has got two tickets in this raffle, but one of them might well have been ripped up. Or has it? Has he found it in the bottom of the bin? To confirm, Colin has to win this leg to send it into a sudden death shootout. If Anderson wins this one, it's all over. He goes 18 all, one leg only, and Anderson will have the darts. Eight teams for this dart. Nine, two, four. Leaves one, three, four. That's a tall order. Anderson in great position. The setup, the win. One round on five. Colin went off with a maximum, but Anderson has left a two darter. Nine, two, four. Well, to finally end Gary requires a Winter Gardens six. classic. Gary Anderson wants tops. 36. On the wire, you heard it clatter into Joe the wire, you saw it bend. Bolton. Same target. No score. It's a sorry way for the match to end, if it is going to Joe end Joe there, with Joe Collin missing three at tops. It deserved a last leg shootout. But Joe it's not going to get Joe. one because Gary Anderson has beaten the brave and brilliant Joe Cullen by 19 legs to 17. Joe Cullen did everything but win. He missed two match darts, one put off by a fly, which he will look back on with great regret, no doubt. But he could not have come closer and he could not have played any better, the young man from Bradford. Gary Anderson, though, the twice world champion, the former Premier League champion, has a chance to add the final leg of the Triple Crown, the world match play, as he moves on into the semi-final.